What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Peter. I'm a 767 pilot, and today I'm gonna to be doing my second vlog. Uh, for those of you who watched my first one, liked my first one, commented on my first one, I greatly appreciate it, it was a lot of fun to make, and tonight I'm gonna to start my second one. Uh, so today my trip starts with a deadhead from Indianapolis to Philadelphia. Uh, since I don't live in Indy or Philly, I'm going to deviate, so I'm gonna take that travel bank money that the company spends to buy an airline ticket from Indy to Philly. I think it was about 450 bucks since it's the holiday uh, week with Thanksgiving coming up. And I'm gonna bank that money and I'm gonna get myself to Philadelphia. So since there's no flights, uh, I have an option of taking the Amtrak, which I kind of thought about last minute, which would've been nice to relax and watch the movie, but I decided just to rent a car here in Manhattan gonna leave right now it's almost 8 p.m. and get to the hotel in Philly at about 10 o'clock and go to bed so I'm gonna start my trip now I'm all packed I'm all ready to go uh, it's a great trip uh, relatively speaking for me it's a deadhead uh, both ends so front and back like I said it starts out of Philly I'm about an hour and a half hour and 45 minute drive away and the actual flying the actual fun part starts uh, tomorrow morning but I'm on the clock starting at like 11 a.m. today uh, so it was nice to be home and, and getting paid to work out, eat, and uh, do some errands. So anyway, again, hope you come along, hope you enjoy it, and let's get after it. All right, just got in the car to start my drive from New York City to Philly. Great news, the uh, rental car was able to hook me up with a Mustang. That's sweet. The bad news is I have 102 miles to empty on, uh, until empty in my gas and GPS says 98 miles. So, that's just going to be this is going to be the fun game of the evening. Just got to the rental car return. Quick update. 14 miles empty. Easy money. Easy drive. Time to get to my hotel, get some sleep. Into my hotel in Philly. Uh, it was a nice ride down, no traffic, which was nice. Uh, I got my uniform hung up and gonna get ready for bed. Got a 6 a.m. wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow I have uh, two legs. I go from Philly to AFW, which is Alliance Fort Worth, which is a, a sub airport of DFW, Dallas, Texas. And I have a couple hours on the ground there and I fly back to Philly. So. Kind of a long day, but you'll see if you follow me along, it's broken up nicely because we got a hotel in Dallas and it's a nice hotel with a gym and a pool and golf course and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, 6 a.m., wake up for a 6.30 van to the airport. And yeah, that's gonna be tough on me, but I uh, gotta do what you gotta do. So again, hope you come along for the ride. Alarm just went off, 6.25. <laughs> Time to go to work. Um, had kind of an interesting night though. My phone rang at like four in the morning to wake me up, which was never fun. I guess that's what happens when you have crazy fans, you know, they just, I just gotta get a hold of you somehow. No matter the time of night, it's just, it comes with the territory. Uh, and then my alarm from my hotel clock thing went off at like, 545 people who are watching this it's 2022 just use your iPhone alarm or your iPad or your phone or bring an alarm <clears throat> because I don't want to check the alarm clock every time I go to bed what time it's gonna go off if it's gonna go off it was a <clears throat> disaster I pressed it off I was half asleep and then it just turned back on but anyway I'm obviously tired comes with the territory though you know I'm sleeping in foreign environments if you're planning on coming an airline pilot, get used to it, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, time to go to work.
Just finished the uh, pre-flight walk around outside. Beautiful morning in Philadelphia. Now on the flight deck, just getting all of our flight plan loaded up and checking the weather. Here's our route from Philadelphia down to Alliance Fort Worth, Texas. Three hours and 30 minutes in route they have us blocked out. As you can see, good weather. So it'd be a fairly smooth ride and cruising out at 36,000 feet. Alliance, as you can see, is just to the west, northwest of Dallas, Fort Worth. So should be hopefully pushing back here in just a little bit. Three hours and 30 minutes in route and on our way. Plane's all fueled up. Just got our fuel ticket from the fueler. As you can see here, they put in 400, 4,822 gallons to figure out how many pounds that is. Multiply by 6.7, you get 32,300 pounds. So in aviation, we use pounds instead of gallons. Easier, simple math, I guess. But that's how we, we look at our fuel rate and our fuel burn based on pounds. And then up here is our total fuel. So they gave us 32,000 pounds since the airplane obviously landed with some fuel in it. A total of 45,000 pounds. Our flight from Philadelphia to Alliance Fort Worth cruising out to 36,000 feet. Fun fact, aircraft traveling westbound are going to be flying at even altitude. So 32, 34, 36, 38 thousand feet so on and so forth and aircraft traveling eastbound are going to be odd so 31 33 35 thousand feet so on and so forth and that's to keep aircraft separated and it helps with separation and them not running into each other the arrival into alliance fort worth this afternoon was the turk i guess i say turk i guess you'd say truck i don't know truck to arnav arrival so we flew pony ride melty Cane, Sassy, with an expect altitude across 11,000 feet. It's exactly what we got. Belco, and then Vector's on for our visual, backed up by the ILS to 1.6 left into Alliance. Argue, they slowed us down to about 170 knots going over Wigzoo, and that's because there's a lot of general aviation aircraft in the vicinity. We were following like a Cessna 172, so had to slow the 767 down. Captain made a nice landing. Once we landed runway 1.6 left, exited up. Foxtrot intersection, quick taxi, alpha, golf, and then we had parking spot. I think it was 25. Easy peasy. Just got to Alliance Fort Worth, checked into the hotel, one leg down, one more to go for the day. Got about uh, two hours in the hotel before we head back, so just enough time to get out of the uniform, hit the gym, have some lunch, and then back at it. Easy flight, really no weather at all to deal with. Uh, Alliance Fort Worth, if you've never been there, it's a really busy airport with uh, general aviation. So a lot of small planes coming in for training. So they kind of slow you down uh, pretty early and vector you around uh, to the approach to one six left. It was the captain's leg. So I was monitoring, um, like I said, easy peasy, just over a three hour flight and checked into the hotel, gonna hit the gym and then uh, get ready for uh, get ready for the second flight. So show you kind of what I do on quick layovers here while I, uh, while I have the time. I get asked all the time how I like kind of stay consistent with traveling and working out and eating right. And I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of be, can be tough. But the truth is, when I land after like a four hour flight, I was up at six in the morning, I was tired. I don't wanna go work out. I don't really have motivation to work out, but it's a non-negotiable, right? That's at least what I tell myself. I say, I'm just doing out of habit at this point. Don't lay down. Don't start looking at Instagram. Don't say, let me just relax. I'm on the couch or the bed for 10 or 15 minutes and I'll go to the gym. Cause we all know you'll never make it, so. What I plan on doing is, as soon as I get to the hotel, put my bag down, put my workout clothes on, come down, even if it's only for 20 or 30 minutes, at least it gets my blood pumping, gets some exercise, makes me feel better about myself. So, just a little trick of the trade is, I probably already know this, but it really is true. Just don't relax, just be tired, get to the gym, 
get the blood flowing a little bit and get to work. Workout done, Chipotle burrito bowl done, shower, back into the uniform, repacking as we speak, and then it's back to getting it done. Uh, about 10 minutes or so before I have to head down for the car, finish up packing, and probably look over the flight plan and the weather back to Philadelphia, one more leg, about three hours, same same kind of deal. Um, yeah, but had about two, just under, just over two hours in the hotel because we were a little bit uh, late this afternoon, but was able to accomplish a good amount, which I'm uh, happy about. So uh, I'll talk to y'all on the plane. After I get the walk around all set up, the next thing for me to do is to make sure, which is might be the most important job I have, is to make sure the catering is on board and ready to go. That's right, without their food and their snacks, pilots get very, very cranky, myself included. So I make sure the captain's food's there, myself, my food's there, throw the dry ice in, and then underneath we have a cooler chest with waters, sodas, and all that kind of stuff to keep us hydrated throughout. So again, probably my most important job on the pre-flight is making sure all that's good to go. Next flight of the day is from Alliance Fort Worth back to Philadelphia. Before every single takeoff, though, we have to get our performance number. So basically, we get the weights of the cargo, the passengers, the fuel. We type in a few numbers into our FMS, our flight management system, and it spits back out our performance numbers, which is going to be our V1, our VR, and our V2, our decision speed, our rotation speed, and our single engine climb speed. So we have these numbers, we type them in, and this is how basically pilots fly and how we take off the 767 every single time. It was my leg, super smooth flight, came over uh, Memphis, Nashville, and then the Pats 3 RNAV arrival into Philadelphia, landing the runway 27. We're actually given runway 27 left. But they changed us uh, right around the Beals fix for the visual back to the ILS to 27 right. Got vectored, slowed down to about 200 knots. They overshot us on the localizer, and then we uh, flew it in about uh, 200 knots to about a five mile final. Slowed down, landed 27 right. Exited at Yankee and a quick taxi to our group. Just touched down in Philadelphia, just under three hours, about 2.55 in route. There is our flight from Dallas to Philly. Overall, good flight. Not too much going on. Not too many bumps, not too many planes. And uh, got here on time, so that's always a good thing. Landed 27 right, and our parking spot's right at the end of 27 right. So overall, real nice. Captain, how would you rate my landing? One out of 10. Outstanding. Outstanding. 10, 10, plus. 10, 10 plus. You heard it here first, folks, so. Uh, anyway, gonna jump to the hotel. Got a little bit of time for basically change into my pajamas and get some sleep to do it all over again tomorrow. Just checked into the hotel in Philadelphia. It's super close to the airport. Uh, I didn't eat my catering on board because I had leftover some Chipotle and a protein bar. So curious to see what they, uh, what they gave us tonight. Uh, so you can eat that or head down to the restaurant, uh, restaurant and bar and grab a quick bite to eat. But uh, overall, good flight. You heard it there first, folks. The captain said, outstanding. The world's okay as pilot. Gets a 10 plus, he said, on the landing. Uh, it was pretty good, if I may say so myself, nice and smooth. Pretty easy landing, though, with the weight we had on the airplane and uh, the length of the runway and no winds. It always makes it uh, nice and friendly for pilots to land. So anyway, uh, it's currently seven o'clock. Long day, uh, relatively easy though, no complaints. Really enjoy the guy I'm flying with. It's super uh, nice to have someone that you get along with and share uh, similar views and opinions with because it makes the, the flying that much fun. Because you got three hours up there, you pretty much just talk, uh, talk to each other. So anyway, good flight and yeah, early wake up tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. This might be a little overkill. I already went today, but like I said earlier, got to get the work in, right? My workout was kind of bullshit earlier. Let's put in the work, baby. Let's get it. Good morning, beautiful people. What a gorgeous day. We're out here in Philadelphia. Just completed the walk around. Airplane is looking nice and fresh, ready to go. Two legs today. First one's over to Dallas. Same as I did yesterday. It's kind of like Groundhog's Day, but uh, should be a great ride. 
just under just over three hours to Dallas this morning got my uh, bright yellow vest on while I'm outside the ramp because safety is sexy remember that safety is sexy uh, it's gonna be my leg to Dallas so excited for that gonna do some flying and uh, on our way hope you join me set in the flight deck just finished our pre-flight checks uh, just waiting for the last couple boxes to be loaded we're on our way just got our clearance to Dallas from Philly uh, it's basically a tower assigned heading so we'll get radar vectors after departure onto our first fix they take us north of uh, Washington DC stay out of their airspace and then heading down south west all the way to Dallas, Texas. The weather in Dallas, we're going to Alliance Fort Worth, is uh, a little getting a little bit uh, more and more weather the longer we're here in Philly. So they gave us extra fuel in case uh, we need to hold or divert or the weather keeps dropping. So no big deal, but we're going to keep an eye on that throughout our flight. Third leg of the trip, if you're counting Philly to Alliance Fort Worth, a question I get asked all the time is how much are you actually flying and how much is the autopilot actually flying? It varies trip to trip, flight to flight, but the truth is uh, once the aircraft gets pushed back from the gate, the pilots are responsible for taxiing that aircraft, for then taking off the aircraft, and within anywhere from about five to 10 seconds, the autopilot can be turned on. Normally, the pilots will wait till they pass 5,000, 10,000, sometimes 18,000 feet. So that can be five, 10, 15 minutes of actually physically hand flying the airplane. Um, but then passing a certain altitude, it's 29,000 feet, the autopilot's required to be on. So for example, this flight was three hours and 30 minutes. As a captain's leg, the autopilot was on probably 90% of the flight. Just got to uh, Alliance Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. Uh, as you can tell by the weather, it was cloudy, rainy. Had to shoot the uh, ILS to one six right. I actually fibbed before back in Philly. I thought it was my leg. It was actually the captain's leg. So I'll fly the next one back to uh, back to Philly. But uh, had to shoot the hard ILS to one six right. Broke out right around like seven hundred feet above the ground, and captain did a great job. Nice landing and safely taxed into our gate. Uh, about f almost four hours on the airplane, 320 flight, but we were on the ground in Philly for about 40 minutes because it's the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, tons of travel obviously occurring. So uh, planes were backed up for days. I mean, there were airplanes literally five, six, seven, I counted like 15 at one point trying to take off and we were, had to get in that line. So uh, definitely made it for a longer day. It makes our layover here in, in Dallas super short, um, super tired. But like I mentioned earlier, my last layover, uh, it's not like I have motivation to go to the gym, but I got to get it done. So 20, 30 minutes, grab some food and then back out to Philly. So uh, yeah, just got to get it done and uh, I'll talk to you guys back on the plane. So here's the crew rest area for when there's more than one pilot. I just closed the door, as you can tell, it was super loud before, but it's super quiet in here. You got two bunks, one up top for pilot number one, and then down below, pilot number two. Lights, heat, pillows, blanket, a reading light. This has been used, but because I'm such a good vlogger, ooh, I'll give you, I'm 6'4", and my head is currently there. And I fit, so it works. You're, I'd say six, six and below, and it's fairly comfortable. And you got your auction mask, 
flashlight, spare blankets and such, and then you can control the ooh, heat and the uh, light so you can take a nap, heater on and off, call the flight deck, they can call you. So they need you, you can come up. But yeah, on my longer flights, like when I flew from Brazil to Memphis, 10 hours, I was up in here and it was very, very comfortable. So there's the crew rest for those asking. Alliance clearance, uh, 3162 heavy to Philadelphia, that's right. 62 heavy, uh, clearance clear to Philadelphia airport via radar vectors. Cuso 1 departure, loose transition as filed. On departure, fly runway heading, maintain 3000. Expect flight level 39010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.1, squawk 0565. Right, we're heading to Philadelphia via radar vectors. Cuso 1, loose transition as filed. Departure runway heading 3000. 39 and 10, 118.1, 0, uh, 0565 on the squawk. 62 heavy readback is correct. Last legs in the books, just landed Philadelphia. Great flight, tired, time to go home. Hope you enjoyed the ride. About a six or seven mile final. Start, decided to be a big boy. Take off the autopilot and the auto throttles and do some actual hand flying and visual 2-7 right again tonight. So I, people are gonna ask, Captain, how was the landing on the, on the last one tonight? It's starting to make me look bad. Beating me on um, the landings. What, what are we grading on this one? 10 out of 10. Wow, there you heard it here first, folks. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Drive complete from Philly to New Jersey. I'm at my parents' house in New Jersey because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So my trip is done. It's in the books. That's a wrap. As you can see, though, technically it ends tomorrow with a deadhead from philly to indianapolis my base but since i don't live there i'm not going to be going there so i deviate that airline money goes into my bank and i'm able to rent a car and expense it uh so all good basically i have a day off tomorrow to celebrate with my family but i'll still be getting paid which is a nice little perk anyway if you did like the video please thumbs up please subscribe to the channel as well it shows me that you actually made me learn something or that you liked it and i can continue making these as always comments questions below if you have any personal questions about flying, anything like that, please DM me on Instagram. I answer all of them. But if you do, make sure you follow me first because otherwise it goes into a separate inbox and I won't really see it. Um, but anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come along for the ride again soon. And yeah, I'm out. Deuces.